Hey, it's Kelt. Let's do a propaganda breakdown, this time about a Marine and an athlete. So if you've seen the news, the WNBA star Brittany Griner is back in the United States. The United States government was able to negotiate a trade deal to get her release from prison in Russia. And suddenly right-wing propagandists start caring about something that they've been mostly silent about for the last four years. First thing, it's a good thing that an American was returned to the United States' custody from Russia. But I have a couple questions. Why did we leave a Marine veteran behind, who's been there quite a lot longer? Who was also classified as wrongfully detained? On that note, who remembers this? If this was a white man, it would not be going down like this. It would not be- I guess they were right after all. That man, a Marine veteran, was left behind in favor of a sports star. For the last six months, Democrats and liberals on this app have been telling me that the Republicans don't care about the veterans. The Republicans are the ones that shot down a bill that could have helped the veterans. Meanwhile, they're quiet as shit seeing it is that Joe Biden made a deal leaving a Marine behind. So after watching those two clips, did you catch what was not said in either of those clips? It was shown in the news article that she put up in that clip, but neither one actually said it. Did you notice what it is? It's that Marine's name. They care so much about his release, but yet they can't even take the two seconds to tell you that his name is Paul Wayland. But the question is, why are they doing this? And that's simple, because the word Marine gives a stronger emotional reaction than saying his name. When you tell your average patriotic citizen that a Marine is in prison, especially a Russian prison, they start thinking a hero is in trouble. If you tell them that Paul Wayland is in a Russian prison, most of them aren't going to care. Also, if you have his name, it makes it easier for you to look into what is going on with that Marine in the Russian prison. And they don't want you to do that. Because while we should help Paul Wayland, and we should work to bring an American home, if you look into Paul's story, it does not fit the narrative that they have been pushing this entire time with Brittany Griner. The narrative that they've been pushing with Brittany Griner is that we shouldn't care about getting her released from a Russian prison because, as they say, she's un-American and a criminal. She was caught with a contraband item at a Russian airport, so since she broke the law, they don't care. And now they're pushing this narrative that we should care about Paul because since he was a Marine, he was a hero. And that's not 100% true. Yes, he is a Marine. He's an American citizen, and we should care. But Paul is not a hero. He's also a criminal. But first, let's talk about Paul's loyalty. Yes, Paul is an American citizen, and he was a United States Marine. He's also a Canadian, Ireland, and British citizen. Yes, you heard that right. Paul holds four different citizenships, meaning there are four different countries working with Russia to try to get Paul released. Brittany has one citizenship, the United States. As for Paul being a hero and serving his country, Paul was kicked out of the Marines on a bad conduct discharge after being found guilty in a court-martial. Paul is not a war hero. He was an admin clerk that was found guilty of attempting to steal $10,000 from the United States government, using a fake social security number on a government system, and faking his own test scores. And again, I'm going to stress this repeatedly throughout this video. None of that means that we should not be attempting to get Paul back from a Russian prison. And currently, the government of four different countries is working on doing that. But knowing all that kind of changes the story a little bit, other than abandoning a Marine war hero, doesn't it? And even then, we didn't abandon Paul in a Russian prison. The current United States administration was actively and is still actively arguing and negotiating for the release of Paul from a Russian prison. Going so far as to reach out diplomatically to a third-party country asking if they would be willing to swap one of their prisoners that Russia was interested in to secure the release of Paul. The third-party country refused to release one of their prisoners, and Russia refused to negotiate any further for Paul's release, only arguing for Brittany's release. So we could get one American home, or zero Americans home. So our government decided that the common sense answer was, one is better than zero, and propagandists are now trying to turn that into a bad thing. Even Paul's family is supportive of Brittany being released, acknowledging that one American coming home is better than no Americans coming home. But again, none of this matters to right-wing propagandists, because until Brittany Griner came into the equation, they didn't care about Paul. And I can prove it. First, let's look at Adam. Adam is an officer in the Air National Guard, and he serves in our government. And since Brittany was released, Adam started tweeting about Paul, also stating that he received a letter from Paul three years ago to the day of that tweet, where Paul asked him for help getting Paul released from a Russian prison. 
Adam tweeted all of this within the last 24 to 48 hours of me recording this video. But if you do a search on both of Adam's accounts, you see that the first time that he ever used Paul's name was in July of this year. And it was in reference to the efforts to secure Britney's release from a Russian prison. Meaning Paul was arrested by Russia in 2018, and the first time Adam ever used his name on Twitter was simply in response to the efforts to release Britney from a Russian prison. He received a letter asking for personal help from Paul three years ago and just tweeted about it this year. But now that Britney's been released, he is very adamant that we need to be looking into and helping Paul. It's a show. And we can see that this is not just Adam or the two people I showed in those clips. This is America as a whole. If you do a Google trend search for Paul's name, you can see a pattern. That pattern is when Paul first got arrested, searches for his name spiked a little bit. Look over, nothing, nothing, nothing. Brittany gets arrested. Small little spike. Now that Brittany's been released, the spike for Paul's names has gone through the roof. And that's because for the last four years, these propagandists and politicians were not out there putting Paul's name in front of the American people to try to secure his release. They only used Paul's name when it would benefit them politically. And Paul's own family admits that. Paul's brother tweeted out that Trump has now talked about Paul more since Britney has been released than Trump did in the entire two years of Trump's presidency that Paul was in that Russian prison. And fun fact, it's already been released that Trump was offered a chance to get Paul released for the same trade deal that Biden pulled for Britney, and Trump refused it. So yes, we do need to get Paul released, along with many other American citizens in foreign prisons. There's also a lot of work that we need to do with our own prisons and how we treat our own prisoners, but that's another video. So in summary, if you use veterans as pawns, you don't care about veterans. If you bring up the fact that somebody needs to be released only when it benefits you politically, you don't care about them being released. And if you can't even say their name, obviously they're not that important to you. So remember, think critically and weigh the evidence. Most of the time you'll see it doesn't amount to what they're claiming.